Salas Chapter 4, Radio Communications. Part A General, Regulation 1 Application. This regulation outlines the scope, specifying types of ships to which the radio communications regulations apply. Regulation 2, Terms and Definitions. Provides definitions for key terms used throughout the chapter, ensuring clarity and consistency in interpretation. Regulation 3, Exemptions. Details the circumstances under which certain ships may be exempt from the radio communication requirements, typically based on size, purpose, or operational area. Regulation 4. Functional Requirements 1. VHF, DSC, and in Marsat for transmitting ship-to-shore distress alerts by at least two separate and independent means, each using a different radio communication service. 2. Receiving shore-to-ship distress alerts 3. Transmitting and receiving ship-to-ship distress alerts. 4. Transmitting and receiving search and rescue co-ordinating communications. 5. Transmitting and receiving on-scene communications. 6. Transmitting and receiving signals for locating. 7. Transmitting and receiving maritime safety information. 8. Transmitting and receiving general radio communications to and from shore-based radio systems and 9. Transmitting and receiving bridge-to-bridge -bridge communications. Regulation 5. Provision of radio communication services. Regulation mandates ships must have appropriate radio communication services available. Part B. Undertakings by contracting governments. Regulation 5. Provision of radio communication services. Shore-based facilities for radio communication services as per the recommendations. Information concerning the shore-based facilities in the Maritime Mobile Service, Mobile Satellite Service, and Maritime Mobile Satellite Service, established for sea areas which it has designated off its coasts, shall be notified to the organization. Regulation 5.1. Global Maritime Distress and Safety System Identities. A Maritime Mobile Service Identity, MMSI number, is a unique nine-digit number that identifies a ship or coast radio station. It's programmed into a ship's digital maritime radio. It's used to contact other vessels and send distress signals. It's a vital data point for emergency personnel. MSI numbers are regulated by the International Telecommunications Union, ITU, in Geneva, Switzerland. Part C Ship Requirements Regulation 6 Radio Installations Every ship shall be provided with radio installations capable of complying with the functional requirements prescribed by Regulation 4 throughout its intended voyage and, unless exempted under Regulation 3, complying with the requirements of Regulation 7 and, as appropriate for the sea area or areas through which it will pass during its intended voyage, the requirements of either Regulation 8, 9, 10, or 11. Regulation 7. Radio Equipment. General. This regulation sets out the general requirements for radio equipment, ensuring it is kept in good working order and is suitable for ship operations. Detailed list is provided in the description. Regulation 8, Radio Equipment, C Area A1, means an area within the radio telephone coverage of at least one VHF coast station in which continuous DSC alerting is available. Regulation 9, Radio Equipment, C Area A2, means an area excluding C Area A1, within the radio telephone coverage of at least one MF coast station in which continuous DSC alerting is available. Regulation 10, Radio Equipment, C Areas A3, means an area, excluding C Areas A1 and A2 within the coverage of an Inmarsat geostationary satellite in which continuous alerting is available. Regulation 11, Radio Equipment, C Area A4, means an area outside sea areas AL, A2, and A3. Ships engaged on voyages in all sea areas shall be provided with the radio installations and equipment required by regulation, MF slash HF, and in Marsat shall not be accepted as an alternative. Regulation 12. Watches. Every ship to maintain a radio watch on VHF, DSC, satellite shortage ship distress alerts and continuous listening watch on VHF channel 16. Regulation 13. Sources of Energy. A reserve source or sources of energy shall be provided for the purpose of conducting distress and safety radio communications, GMDSS batteries with yearly test requirements. Regulation 14. Performance Standards. 
All equipment be of a type approved by the administration. Such equipment shall conform to appropriate performance standards not inferior to those adopted by the organization. Regulation 15. Maintenance Requirements Equipment shall be so designed that the main units can be replaced readily, without elaborate recalibration or readjustment. Regulation 16. Radio Personnel The personnel shall be holders of certificates specified in the radio regulations as appropriate, any one of whom shall be designated to have primary responsibility for radio communications during distress incidents. Regulation 17. Radio Records a record shall be kept in a radio logbook or in the ship's logbook, ship radio station license, shore-based maintenance contract, service and test records radio communication. List of monitory radio equipments are given in the description. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the channel.